Where are we? Where are we? Oh, we're back at the compound. Hey, did you see that video with Wild Wild Warrior Bill showing off showing off, off his his hoarding house? I'm looking for a glove to wear because I uh, a little damage, you know. Certain words you can't say on YouTube. But then, if you ever noticed why I don't wear gloves, well, one of the reasons is you can't operate you can't operate the iPhone wearing gloves. Okay, you can't the the button and all that you, on the screen. It's not possible to to operate it. <clears throat> but. Sure shooting, you know, when I'm doing this, which the landlord is not tickled about exactly. I gotta clean it up. Yeah, all these people calling me. On the phone, the wife, my auntie, my brother, a couple of scrap appointments. You know, that's one of the reasons why this, that's one of the reasons, not the only, I'm not blaming, I'm not complaining, I'm explaining. It's blaming, complaining, and explaining. Because I always get the how come questions. Why does it stay like this? Well, because I have to put it in several solid days completely uninterrupted and well I haven't quite figured out how to do that you know being a family man there's going to be interruptions and the compound and the house are far apart okay so there's logistics involved So I was going to do some pallets today, but that ain't going to happen because they're not open on the weekend. I'm more concerned with demolishing all these lights. So I got about 80 of these all together after I cracked the rest of those open. So that's 80. And that's about... Well, Cruiser Max said that there's three pounds of copper in each. Well, we're going to crack a few of them open and we'll, we'll weigh them out. But that could very well be. He might not be too far off. So, 80 times 3, what is that? 240? 240 pounds of copper at $2.20. So, that's like 500 and something dollars worth of copper or thereabouts see the thing is though the scrapyard is closed and I'm kind of loaded and I got a phone call I have a I have a contact that's got some scrap and I have to go get it I don't want to blow them off well, we're going to have to find a dishwasher or a fridge for all that, right? So I have a few more left. That's pretty rock solid right there. I'm going to get on processing that right away. That should be fun. Oh, a nice little pile of copper. At first, you know, I was... Uh, Unscrewing these, these are 5 sixteenths. But then I'm like, that's a slow boat to China, we don't want to do that. We'll just uh, crack them open. We'll do it. 
We'll do it the kingdom style. Less labor. Massive drill. And the transformer out. That method is a lot faster than uh, doing it the right way. It's really hot, it's like 90 degrees. I cleaned up a little bit here. I figure I clean up a little bit each time. That way the job's not overwhelming for one man. Once everything is gone, then I'm gonna rake the ground, get a rake. Clean it up that way. And uh, well, if we can get something going, hopefully, never do this again. Yeah, I notice everything. Well, I think I do. A little scratch and a dent <laughs> from that uh, derecho, that windstorm that we had. Piece of scrap metal. Went flying into the truck. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know anymore, man. I, I have no answers. Other than the ones I give to you guys on YouTube. <laughs> Hopefully that's not stacked too high. I don't need that stuff blowing out of the truck. You know, because it is aluminum, it's not steel, so. I, what I did was I took the car rotors and smashed the glass out. I found that's, uh, that's a bit easier technique than, uh, you gotta watch these though. I gotta rake this up. That that's not safety glass, that's that's the kind of that's the kind of glass that will give you stitches. That's these those light bulbs. They really are. Uh, they really implode. I will do you up one. Uh. Here, kids, stay a safe distance away. Lazy or hard working? The debate rages on. You! I thank the Lord for.
being so lucky. You.